In a match where Plum Mariko teamed with Commando Bolshoi to fight against Miyami Ozaki and Raiko Amano, the four women used their expert grappling skills to kick the ever-living shit out of one another. Forget divas prancing around in WWF in 1997, their Japanese women's wrestling counterparts were as tough as the men and equally skilled. When Mariko was on the receiving end of a viciously delivered Liger bomb from her opponent, Miami Ozaki, she hit her head on the landing and was rendered completely unconscious. The remaining three wrestlers in the match continued the bout and swiftly moved to draw the contest to a conclusion, by which time Mariko had still not shown any signs of recovery, her breathing drawing louder and louder, which is now recognised as a sign of serious brain trauma and even internal bleeding from the skull. The medical team in attendance clambered to deliver Mariko to a local medical facility where she underwent immediate surgery to her head where the doctors found a pre-existing abscess on her brain as well as internal bleeding. They were unable to save the 29-year-old Mariko who became the first ever wrestler to die in the ring in Japan and put out a statement explaining that the young wrestling star should never have been allowed to fight in her condition, imploring other wrestlers in Japan to get checked by a professional in order to prevent such a horrific yet avoidable death. 